Hi, I'm Moss here, and today I have yet another tube amp. This is the Woo Audio WA8 Eclipse portable tube amp. Jack Woo kindly lent me this while he was visiting Japan, and I've been impressed enough with the sound that I decided to make a video about it. Now, this amp is much, very similar to the Woo Audio's WA7 in that it is an all tube amp. It uses only tubes and inbuilt uh, transformers to amplify your headphones. It also will power full sized headphones and even up, send down to sensitive IEMs through the included 6.3mm and 3.5mm jacks on the front. And it has a built in digital to analog converter which is connected via the USB on the back. This digital analog converter uses a, a Sabre ES9018K2M chip and it is powered not by a computer bus power as uh, is usually the case with many uh, inbuilt DACs but is powered by the internal battery meaning the amount of noise getting into the uh, amplification is considerably, considerably reduced. It also can be bypassed entirely by plugging in an external DAC into the line-out 3.5mm line-out port on the back which switch off, switches off the DAC entirely and prevents it injecting any noise into the circuits. Now, Unlike the full-size WA7, it uses two 6S31B miniature tubes on the left and a single 6021 tube on the right. Now the unique thing about this is that it, the output at about 45 uh, ohms is up to 350 milliwatts. However, if you, you can actually switch out this last tube using the switch on the top, making it a two-tube amp, and that will reduce the power by about 100 milliwatts, presumably increase the battery life, and it kind of livens up the sound from the typical warm uh, Woo audio sound that you get from their tube amps. Now, the downside to all of this is that although you can see, although it has a, a battery monitor on the side, that battery monitor will only be showing glowing lights for four hours. So those big heavy transformers in these tubes really don't give you a lot of battery life for something that is a portable device. So in that, it's probably more aimed towards being transportable than anything, especially considering that it weighs 1.09 kilos or about 2.4 pounds quite a beast for something that's uh, considered a portable amp. Now you can replace these tubes, it's not really a tube rollers amp, but you can uh, unscrew the, uh, remove a screw and replace the tubes, the two 6S31Bs being sub-miniature tubes and uh, not having mounting pins in the typical sense are actually uh, soldered onto a special board which can be replaced uh, via through audio and the 6021 likewise has its own special little board and it can be switched out as well but again it's not really a tube rollers amp I don't know, think Woo Audio will be offering uh, boards for people to, to drop in their own tubes with. Now typical for a Woo Audio amp the sound is kind of warm, mellow and uh, engaging in that way. Despite that I didn't have any trouble powering full-sized headphones be it HD800s, Mr. Speakers, Ether Flows or even HD1000s out of the full-sized headphone port I actually spent a lot of time listening with the HD1000s from it, despite the slightly better dynamics I can get from my good old Studio 6 sitting behind me. It didn't at all sound like a portable amp, or didn't sound uh, like it was underpowered whatsoever. It actually sounded like a high-end amp, indeed. Likewise, if I plugged in ALA Audio's latest andrometers, which I've been listening with for uh, portable use into the uh, 3.5mm socket, no hiss and no issues there whatsoever, which makes this, like the WA7, an extremely flexible amp. What was more surprising was using the DAC. I was expecting not too much from the DAC out of this and expecting to use a, a, a one of my, something like my Shit Audio Yggdrasil or a Core Mojo most of the time, but I was actually surprised at the amount of detail retrieval and the capability of this inbuilt DAC and I end up using it for most of my listening. The DAC itself is kind of lively sounding, and a bit more, it has a bit more of an in-your-face sound, which balances up really nicely with the, uh, the kind of mellowness of the tube amp. Compared to that, say, Accord Mojo was kind of more, had a more relaxed and more relaxed kind of detail retrieval. And something like Shido, and my Shido Audio Yggdrasil obviously extracted more detail than the inbuilt DAC, but it was not, the inbuilt DAC was not in the slightest put to shame by uh, any of the any of the uh, greater units, it also did a good fine job. Being when I my uh, loner uh, Astel and Kern AK380 ran out of steam with the HG1000s, then this amp came in really handy. Although I can't imagine a lot of AK380 users using it, and they probably buy the uh, amp for that. That was just an interesting example of how it could uh, be used with a uh, adapt using the line-in port. So the WA8 is quite an interesting unit altogether. I wouldn't call it a pure portable. It's more a transportable, and it's probably better to look at it much the same way as you look like a look at a laptop versus a full-size computer. It's something that could act as a full desktop rig in a small transportable unit, 
rather than something that would be uh, difficult to take with you if, if such a thing were necessary. So in that, it's, certainly it's DAC didn't put it to shame, and the amp I think is uh, worthy of being considered high-end. The performance of it was enough that I could listen with it with and with a lot of enjoyment without feeling that I had to switch, I needed to switch back to the, my full-size rig sitting behind me. So in that, if someone was considering a, a full-on rig but it wanted something transportable, that would be definitely go on, uh, could, should definitely go on your list as, as possibilities for that. So very unique, if somewhat flawed by having being both heavy and uh, having a short battery life. So that's an interesting one altogether. W Woo Audio's WA8. So I hope you liked what I had to say on the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up on the video if you did like it. Also, don't forget to write any, any questions and comments. Please add them to the uh, in the comments section or on HeadFi, and I'll see you online.